What up, YouTube? It's April G. Showers coming at y'all again by storm. So, I was just looking through YouTube and I noticed this uh, new Ritz song. And it's called Twin Lakes. So, I've never heard it. Genuine reaction. So, and right here it's, um, it's the video, and I'm sorry, y'all. I've only been doing this a little over two weeks. I still have not learned how to get the video up at the same time as me. I'm not up to date with the technology. I've been trying. I've downloaded different software. Hasn't worked yet. And the one that did work, it was all kind of messed up. So anyway, it says Twin Lakes Recovery Center, Atlanta, Georgia. So... I'm just going to guess that this song is going to be about addiction and recovery. And I am a recovering addict. Eight months. I mean, eight months. Eight years. My clean date's 8-8-11. Eight, eight, no, there you go. 8-8-11. Eight, eight, so here we go. This is by Ritz, Twin Lakes. There's somebody sleeping in the bed next to mine, but I don't recognize them. Couple nurses coming in the room to check on me, and baby shed light, tell me where I can. Unless I'm too long for the string size, bed. She said I need rest, time to take my meds. It's gonna be a long 30 days ahead. I went from Okay, so I can totally relate to this off jump. I went to rehab, but I stayed, I was there almost three months, not 30 days. So I can totally relate. Waking up, looking over, somebody you don't recognize is in the bed, in the room with you, and the nurse says it's time to take your meds. Um, the, uh, the rehab I went to, though, we had to go and stand in line and go to, like, a pill window. And the nurse would stand there and hand you the meds and watch you swallow them and stuff. So, but I can relate, 100%. My fault, my fault, but it's gone. She said the staff searched everything I own. True. They confiscate my razor, Facts. my cologne. Yep. They made me sign a waiver, I can't go home. So now, no. now the rehab I went to, I could call home. Now, for one week, I couldn't have any visitors or calls. But after that one week, I got visitors every Sunday, and I could call at certain times, like twice a day. So, But they do search everything you own, and you can't have, like, cologne, razors, phone, nothing. Couldn't have caffeine. It was, yeah. The light on the fire long Thinking to myself, look what I become The tears on my face is like alcohol I'm caught up in a bar fighting my withdrawals I was staring in the mirror and the man I saw Was appalled at the wrong I done And it's never been as clear as it is right now I was powerless all life long I'm ready for recovery Trying on to break these chains, ready for recovery. Trying to escape twin lakes, 6 a.m. And I don't got an appetite for breakfast, I can't make friends. Cause I don't think that I know who I am, yet I fit yeah. my cigarette and some scared of talking book. A girl across the room is saying that she got abused. Younger kids are laughing like it's funny. Yeah, I'm not amused. I need that mama business. That's the type of attitude I'm trying to lose. Tell my counselor, I think that I fell out of love with living. I drink crime, but a gallon of an ounce of fuck is giving buzz without the fun. Now I'm just a violent drunk. And if I don't want to get sober, then it's all over. I just hope my higher power shows forgiveness. Victim of the struggle, abuse of life. Hey. Live. Lose my mind and then another suicide sin. So I turn my will in life up for the you to drive again. I'm just hoping I got time to undo the wrong I did. I was 
staring in the mirror and the man I saw was a part of the wrong I done. And it's never been as clear as it is right now. I was powerless all life long. Man. I'm ready for recovery. Step one, we learn that we're powerless over our addiction. That's what he's talking about. And he, when he talks about his higher power, and he, he's got to turn his will and his life over to you, and he he's holding his hands up and praying, and he says that. That's step two and three of the 12 steps. Man, this is so mad. And I remember sitting in group, and he, he was talking about sitting in group, and there was a girl across from him sharing how she'd been abused. And there were younger kids in there laughing. Same thing happened at my rehab, man. For the first three weeks, I didn't talk. And I'm a talker, as y'all know. First three weeks, I didn't talk. I just sat there. So, man. Trying on to break these chains, ready for recovery. Trying to escape twin lakes, it's never too late. That's right, never too late. That was deep. The whole video, when he does the hook, he's looking in the mirror at himself with sunglasses on. Talking about looking in the mirror. You know, something about can't stand the man I've become, the wrong I've done. Stuff like that. Hoping he can make up for the wrong he's done. And here at the end, when he he's like, ready for recovery. You know, at the end, he just took his sunglasses off and was able to look at himself in the mirror. That's deep. Any recovering addict knows it's hard. We're our own worst enemies. We have, or I'm my own worst enemy. I have low self-esteem. I hated myself. Still struggle with it. Still struggle with being able to look at myself in the mirror. So that's deep and that's real. For real. <laughs> Never too late, it says. Every addict, alcoholic needs to watch this. It's Twin Lakes by Ritz. It's never too late. I don't care how old you are, how much you've done, what you've done. It's never too late. Ever. And there are people out there that know exactly what you're going through. So, reach out, man. It's the best thing you can do is reach out, for real. I love that song, man. That was real. That was from his heart. That was him making himself vulnerable, sharing his struggle, his pain, and at the end, he gained recovery. And now look at him, blowing up. So, love it. Love it. That's going to go on my playlist. So, yeah, y'all let me know in the comments. Y'all like that song, man. Praying for those still struggling with addiction or alcoholism. Praying for loved ones of those who have loved ones who are struggling with addiction and alcoholism. Um, I've been on both sides of it. So, I am a recovering addict and I've had loved ones who struggle with um, alcoholism. So, I understand both sides. And I have tons of friends that struggle with addiction or used to struggle with addiction both. Um, it's tough. It's a daily battle. It really is. So, okay. Anyway, that was deep. I was able to keep my emotions in check, though, this time, y'all. Love it. Twin Lakes by Ritz. Leave me stuff down in the comments if y'all want me to write to anything. Um, please like this video. Please subscribe to my channel. I appreciate all the support from y'all. Very, very grateful. Love y'all, and I'll see y'all later. Peace out.